understand what is the common denominator. And once we break down our common denominator, it's going to be x times x plus 3. So every denominator needs to have this. So 5 is going to be missing the x plus 3. 4 is just missing the x. And then our 8 is not missing anything. Once we have a common denominator, we could drop the denominator and just use the numerator to solve. So we'll have 5x plus 15 plus 4x is equal to 8. And at this step, we could solve the equation. So we'll have 9x plus 15 is equal to 8. We need the constants to be on the opposite side of the variable. So after we subtract, we're going to get 9x is equal to 8 minus 15, which gives us negative 7. And then we just need to divide by our coefficient in front of the variable to get it by the variable by itself. So x is equal to negative 7 over 9. When you have rational equations, find the common denominator and then get rid of it. Or you can use properties of proportions to also solve.